Celebrity double standard. Alec Baldwin has emerged relatively unscathed after last week's nasty and apparently anti-gay Twitter tirade against a reporter. All of this, in the meantime, the controversy over Paula Deen's racial slur from about 30 years ago, costing her millions, and it's ruining her reputation. ABC's Gio Benitez has been looking into this. Good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Paula, Dan, good morning. We're used to hearing about those Baldwin temper tantrums, but perhaps never in the same week that another celebrity begins losing her empire over something she said. I want to apologize to everybody. It's the nationwide oh, debate pitting Dean against Baldwin. Paula Dean still reeling after losing nearly a dozen major endorsements, partnerships, and counting after admitting the use of the N-word in a recent deposition. The latest, Random House canceling a five-book deal with Dean as fans rallied to make one of them a bestseller months before its release. This is so good. The former Food Network star has apologized, but as her uh, estimated $17 million dollar fortune continues its landslide, night. another That's star, Alec Baldwin, right. seems Teflon strong. Even those who hate me, the unwashed socialist horde. The star of 30 Rock fired off what's being called a homophobic slur on Twitter after a newspaper reporter accused his wife of tweeting during James Gandolfini's funeral. Among the explosive tweets, I'm going to find you, you toxic little queen, and I'm going to expletive you up. Baldwin later quit Twitter and apologized in a letter to Glad, saying his tweets were not implying any issues of anyone's sexual orientation. But some vehemently disagree. Anderson Cooper tweeting Friday, why does Alec Baldwin get a pass when he uses gay slurs? If a conservative talked of beating up a queen, they would be vilified. Like Dean, Baldwin is no stranger to endorsements. What's in your wallet? Yet the face of Capital One credit cards hasn't suffered nearly the same backlash as Dean. Some argue Dean is the victim of a double standard, while others say not so fast. If Alec Baldwin had dropped the N-bomb the way Paula Dean had, you can bet he would lose his Capital One endorsements. But stars like Kevin Hart on OMG Insider say the pounding against Paula may be too extreme. I'm, I'm a black man. I, I was one of the people that was offended when I heard it. Is too much. Baldwin may survive his latest debacle, but it remains to be seen if Dean can survive hers. And Baldwin's wife is defending her husband using what else? Twitter. She says some of her best friends are gay and that she would have never married a homophobic man.